let's get into some more depressing news. Oh, oh right. yeah. <laughs> That's me. Let's get real. I'm All the depressing right. news guy this week. And an old... Is that what we're calling? Rocking chair. Yeah. So it sucks it's to be the guys who wrote that song. Yeah. Because it's now forever associated with a sexual harasser. Old Donnie Burke, continuing the trend of terrible Dons, is... What other Don? Yeah, Don Trump, Don Donald Trump. Oh, yeah. The Don. <laughs> I was just thinking Don Draper. I love that guy. No, Actually, he's, he's a pretty not, terrible person. He's not a real person either. No. <laughs> the last good I Don was really Don Bradman. I'm really confused, like, The last good life. Don was okay, Donald Bradman. so what are we actually talking about? <laughs> We're talking about Donald... Don, Don Burke. <laughs> Don, I was about to say Donald Bradman. We're not talking about Donald Bradman. I'd love to talk about Donald There's Bradman. So His dogs. test average was unbelievable. Okay, we're not talking about okay. Donald Bradman. All right. Um, so, did you guys ever grow up watching TV on Friday nights? Yes, I did. Before 2004, on, at 7.30. Wow. Yep, that's the video. You oh. found it straight away. Oh. I didn't even have to put the extra <laughs> words in. It just came up when I said Don Burke. Oh, my goodness. Uh, the audio is someone's put a sound a voiceover on this and it's like pretty rough, but I don't want to thankfully we won't hear it. Hear yeah. it. Uh, so he used to have a show called Burke's Backyard. He's a horticulturist, yes. culturalist. In I the used 90s? to watch Burke's Backyard. Yeah, in the, in everybody the 90s, did. Early two thousands. Um, give me a home among the gum trees. Oh, yeah. You are taking me back. Uh, and an old rocking chair or something along those lines. Mm-hmm. So anyway. Everyone used to love Don Burke, right? Yeah. He was, it was a friendly yeah. guy. He is like a He's your friendly he's a backyard guy. Classic Aussie. Yeah. It was when guy. we had like three channels, so it was like you had to watch it. True. Yeah, cuz The Simpsons had finished at like 6 6 to 6:30 and then Neighbors was on. I was like, why would anyone watch that? Yeah. I used to watch Neighbors. Right. Yeah. That's not surprising. That says a lot about you. <laughs> it does say a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so, uh, what was it? Tracy Spicer. She's now a um, journalist working for Fairfax Media. Yep. So, you put out a tweet sort of around the time when the Weinstein stuff was really blowing up, which was a few weeks... Oh, my goodness. Uh, <laughs> that's very distracting. Mm. Anyway. Don't look. Do you reckon he, he 100% probably harassed that woman? For the audio listeners, we're watching an episode of Burke's Backyard... Where there's a woman fellating a plant. I thought fellating was with your mouth. Maybe. I'll look it up. <laughs> oh, great. That's not important to this story. This story is pretty horrible. Yes. <laughs> so let's keep going with yeah, the story. Yeah, keep going with this. I keep getting... Just, that's very distracting. <laughs> anyway, she put out a tweet asking, saying she's investigating uh, similar sort of sexual harassment things in the Australian entertainment industry. Yeah. People, like, getting people to contact her about like like their own experiences Mm -hmm. and apparently don burke came out like so much out of the she got like hundreds of responses but don burke's name was like the most common one that came out and like just individually like people not like (laughs) you're right about for lading it's only the mouth yeah okay it's not like she put it out there that don burke has done all this stuff and people said no, no, no. People she didn't came. put it on. It was like to, literally yeah. just I'm like individuals, prominent, yeah. Like people, it wasn't specific, and people got back to her, and a lot of the people yeah. were saying Don Burke, crazy. So, um, it's come out like heaps of people from like, especially the early '90s, but like mm. basically all the way through, like men and women. So women who have been harassed personally, yep. he's grabbed their breasts, or he's looked up their skirt, or mm. he's like said like really horrible things to them yeah like just to demean them and stuff he basically comes across as a horrible bully that's like yeah also a crazy sexual harasser and like just insane like so, like most of the stuff i don't want to say but he's very lewd and like like says the really crude things to women mm. um i mean these are all allegations so i guess i shouldn't say that he's done them right and they're coming mostly from people who worked with him yes, yes. Right. and that's part of his defense so he's basically tracy spicer worked with fairfax and then there was like too much stuff for them to look at so they really they roped in abc news as well so they shared the workload with them and uh they've come up with the whole like dossier i guess of yep. all the allegations of people have tried to contact and all that sort of thing mm. heaps of people have come out like former executives like 
like men have come out saying yeah we knew he was a creep or like yeah this happened and yeah. we saw this happen yeah someone made the point on a fairfax news article mm. they were um they were writing and they were basically saying the only reason everyone's automatically believing these people is because men came out as well oh and, right like, people don't generally believe women yeah. on their own but then oh a man saying it as well so well actually when you when you said that the most damning thing i saw was the channel nine just got guy yeah. got, like a pretty high up representative just going, yeah, this didn't surprise me in one bit. Yeah. yeah. So that's David Lecky, former chief executive of Nine Network. Yep. He probably should have done something when he was yeah. in charge exactly of Nine right. Network and then instead he, of saying that now. Yeah. yeah. What made me actually believe him even more was how terrible it makes him look, his statement. Because yeah, at the end charge. of it, at the end of it, he goes, yeah, we probably should have done something. Doesn't he actually like say that? <laughs> It's like I don't know how he couldn't though. Like, there's no defense. You're the CEO. It's your job if you know about something like that. Yeah, totally. But apparently, most of the people are saying, "Oh, it's a different time, like culture-wise." Yeah, I, guess. I was thinking about that. Like, maybe that was just kind of prevalent in the '90s. Maybe it seems like they just managed him. Yeah. Like they knew he was like this. Yeah. But he also got really good ratings. Well, yeah. Up until like 2004, when his show actually got canned. Yeah. And. I mean, this is kind of like I used to love this show. <laughs> like, yeah, totally. Yeah, you love totally. gardening. Yeah, this, well, I don't do. love gardening. Is, is this but... like if Donald Bradman got accused for you? No. No. Do you, really you want to talk about Don Bradman? No. <laughs> okay. Damn. I will just try to think of a hero of yours. <laughs> Ninety-nine point. An <laughs> <laughs> average. It's like so. Uh, Thirty. Oh god. Anyway. So anyway, um. You watched you watched his a current affair. Yeah, interview. I did. He had a great rebuttal, I hear. Yeah, he had. Yeah, this was his interview after all the allegations. Yeah, so what did he, he say as his? So like, this defense? was like I think this was Monday night. Mm. It was on, and basically he said, "No, I didn't do it." Through mm. the whole interview. Yeah. It was like no matter like she tried to come at it from every angle. Like there is seriously so much against him, and he mm. just was like, "No, I didn't do it." It's like. Is it hundreds of people? It's definitely, it's, it's a lot it's of people. It's high. It's yeah. a high amount. And it's not like, it's it's not like it was, um, like, he was one person accused him and then mm. other people came. It was all no, these independent all these people, people. independently contacting yeah. Tracy Spicer yeah. going, Don Brad and Don totally. Burke. And <laughs> then at one point. <laughs> you dare Don, sully Don, Don Bradman's Brad, name. Saying Don Bradman. <laughs> I'd so much rather talk about Don Bradman than this guy. <laughs> and, such a creep. At one point, then he... He reckon he said, "Oh, I have Asperger's, and mm. so I can't read." Yeah, that's ridiculous. body language. That's so and that's bad. why I, I, you know, maybe have. Well, you know, he was he was basically admitting. So the part of his defense was that okay, yeah, there is so many people. It's obvious that I've done something. Yeah. But his defense was, I was just a really like I was a bully, like I was mean, or like he was at least admitting that he came across as. Like, he, in his eyes, like, he came across he, as too mean a person, and yeah, therefore people so had a grudge against him. He reckon Like, he actually admitted that he had had affairs mm. um, in, in the interview, and then, like, he kind of said, like, it's a high-pressure environment, mm. and, like, towards the end, like, they knew that the show was going to get axed, and so, like, you know, like, it creates this kind of, like, high-pressure environment, but... That yeah, still so doesn't that, excuse that just makes you want to get a girl, like a, a woman in a room, and show a yeah. donkey porn. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. It's perfectly real. That is something that is something that happened. Yeah, of, far out. Yeah. Made, uh, and back then, watch, uh, yeah. donkey porn. Do you have any idea how difficult that would be to get? Probably on VHS. I know. Like literally, he's not. Well, he's there's not, not a pulling, huge market for donkey porn back in the nineties. He's prepared a VCR with a big TV. A remote to the room. Mm-hmm. Frig. There's some really yeah. creepy stories, especially the stuff that's to do with younger girls as yeah. well. There was one incident a guy, someone who worked on his show, was recounting that he'd seen a group of schoolgirls holding bunny rabbits. So he'd gone to like show them how to hold the bunny rabbits properly. So he's with them for like a few minutes, like being friendly or whatever. And he's come back boasting about how many times he touched her, the kids' nipples out of the way, like as he was doing it. And it's, it's there's crazy. no, like, like... Defense for that? Yeah, there's no defense for that. And there's no way I believe that everyone is making this up. Like, yeah. that's no his way. defense is that everyone hates him and they want revenge on yeah. him. Yeah. Which and everyone so, loved him a year ago, right? But they're not people yeah. who need it as well. One of the women who came out is a psychologist in America. Like, there's the, the former CEO of Channel 9. Why would he 
Uh, actually, in this... Currently, you're probably worse off with the other guy saying defending someone who's accused of sexual being a sexual yeah. predator. Pile but I that just... being said, I don't think anyone just randomly picks out a name and everyone agrees with him. Mm. That can't that can't happen. Like no. that's too coincidental. Yeah, it's so it's so much. There's got to be truth in that it. That's the case because it's either everyone's lying together. Yeah. Or he actually did all this <laughs> stuff, and it's so hard to believe that everyone's yeah. lying together. But it's really hard. Like even when you watch it, you're like. Like he's, it's still Don Burke. Like y- you're still thinking it's this like nice oh, guy the, on, on the Bur- yeah, yeah, like, and uh, yeah, like when I watched, it, I was like, this guy could have, like, I was thinking he could have like a split personality or something. No, the thing that gets me is he clearly understands how people see him and yeah. how to present good because he's like one of Australia's most loved dudes yeah. for like twenty years straight. Mm. Like that makes it he's almost. It order, makes it more insidious that he's he does. He's got the order of Australia medal. Yeah, yes. the work that he did with I can't remember what disease, but there's something he was raising money yeah. for. Yeah. So yeah, it's, I mean, it's, all right, you say that, but then there was also there's, there used to be a TV show called Can of Worms, mm-hmm. and she was he was on with like oh, I can't remember her name. Channel Ten news anchor who had short um, hair. Jessica. Jessica Rowe. Yeah. Yeah. She's on that, and I think they were talking about swearing and yeah. whether it's like okay around, like wh- whether swearing's okay. Like what's the, like I think that was their can of worms that they were talking about. And he is swearing like a sailor. He's dropping f bombs and everything. Like doesn't yeah. like he was. I was like, whoa! I don't remember you talking like this in Burke's backyard. Mm. But like he, he doesn't hide that part of himself. At least the vulg the vulgarity, because mm. he says stuff that like clearly is intended to like on that interview. Watch it. And he goes, I don't mind a good F. And he's, like, looking right at um, Jessica Rowe as he says it. Yeah. And I guess in the context that you think, oh, he's just being American, it's okay. But then now that you know, like, that stuff about him, you think, mm. whoa, you were definitely looking right at her on purpose yeah. when you said that. And then there's another interview that was from his show with a with a younger female presenter of the Bugs Bunny show back in the 90s. <laughs> And he does this interview with her, like, where he's at her house and they're just looking at a house, like, having a look, right? Because their show is about houses as well as gardens. And the stuff he says to her is so rude. Like, she's, like, clearly got this, like, bookcase that she's, like, she loves and she's put a lot of care into it. It looks like a Freemason's dream. And, but he's like, oh, look, you've got this thing here that would be a nightmare for most people. Like, he just insults her, like, straight (laughs) up. And then he asks her, like, I, most people wouldn't expect... He says, like, a question that's something along the lines of most people wouldn't expect you to come from an academic background because you've, like, because of what... And then she's clearly upset because he's like, why? Why would you think that? Because she's pretty. He's like, well, you've been typecast as a bimbo. Like, he says, like, the rudest yeah. stuff to her. And you're like, yeah. whoa, this guy's actually a jerk. Yeah. How did I never notice this? I, I also think... You don't notice things when you're a kid sometimes. You miss those innuendos. Yeah. 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 All the little, like, power differences that are going on. Yeah. Or the way he's trying to, like... Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Mm. It's It's sad. Yeah. Yeah. In the interview, he says, like, he he blames on heaps of things, like the Weinstein thing, like... The Asperger's thing is horrible. It is horrible. Yeah, and the community didn't like it either. No, they just didn't. And it was... Yeah. You can't. Oh, and it was self-diagnosed. Yeah, no, he'd never been <laughs> like, diagnosed by a doctor. He decided. He looked at the symptoms then, and then decided. Then he talks he had about that. that, like you know, there's a victim mentality at the moment. Do you think he just like between thing? between them revelations coming out and his interview, he was just looking up medical disorders that he could say that he had. Probably. There's no way he thinks he had Asperger's before that. I don't know. It's crazy. He had to blame it away somehow. Oh my gosh. Yeah. He didn't. And then he blamed it on Twitter. He could be a sociopath. They never take responsibility. (laughs) 